If you're worried about AI taking your job, then don't worry because I'm about to show you how you can take somebody else's job using AI. So I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to make your own Blender add-on from scratch. It's not going to take you more than five or 10 minutes. You don't have to have any previous programming knowledge. You don't even have to be particularly intelligent for this shit to work. So buckle up because you're going to learn something important today and make sure you subscribe to the fucking channel too before we start the video. If you've been using Blender for a while, then you're probably aware that there's a bunch of things in this program which you should be able to do in just a couple of clicks, but for whatever reason, they take like 50 clicks to set up. Luckily, we live in the 21st century, 2025, so you can just use a little bit of AI, you can just use some chat GPT to make a quick Python script. You throw that Python script into Blender like any other add-on, and all of a sudden, you got a button or a menu that does whatever you want it to do. For example, I wanted to have a simple menu in Blender where I can just click on an object that I have saved into another Blend file, and that object is immediately going to appear in my scene on my 3D cursor and that will make it very quick and easy for me to set up a scene using my own objects that I've modeled in other blend files. I didn't really like Blender's built-in asset library function. Anybody who's ever used that knows that it's a real pain in the ass. I didn't want to use Blender Kit either because Blender Kit gives you a bunch of items which are created by other people and that works pretty well but I wanted to use my own items that I've created in other Blender files. So here's what I did and you can do this to create any other kind of add-on you want. Maybe you want to create an add-on which allows you to press a button and when you press that button it immediately loads in a couple of lights places them at certain locations it rotates them in a certain way it places your camera in a certain position it sets up your render properties in that way with just a single button you can go from having an object in a shitty scene to having an object in a beautiful scene which is ready for rendering and delivery to your client so you can really get creative with this shit but here's what i did for this add-on that i told you about earlier i went to chat gpt i started a new conversation and this is a free version of chat gpt so you don't gotta pay for nothing i just told them make me a blender for 4.4.3 add-on which gives me a menu on the right side when I press N and in that menu I can browse a list of blender objects that get appended when I drag and drop them into my scene. So when you hit enter he already understands what you're talking about. He already knows the steps that he's supposed to take for whatever reason he knows everything about blender. I guess it's because it's an open source program so all this shit is available on the internet. You can check whether he understood what you want correctly and whether it makes sense what he's about to create in code and then you just scroll down and you got all the code over here. He wrote everything out for you. He's He's even going to tell you how you can use this in Blender and what you're supposed to do with this text. So this is going to be really simple in this case and probably in most other cases. All you have to do is copy the code. You have to go to your start menu, open up your fucking notepad or whatever. And here you can just write whatever text you want. So you're going to paste your code here and then you go control S to save this. You find wherever you want to save this. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. You can name this whatever you want. So let's name it add on one dot P Y. You don't want to say this is a text file. So we're going to change this and then you just save that to your computer and then you go back to Blender. You go up here to edit preferences add-ons this is where you can install and set up your add-ons so to import this python script and use it as an add-on you go up here to this little arrow you click on install from disk find where you save this add-on i saved it right here and you click on that install from disk and there you go now you got your add-on now a lot of times you're going to get some sort of an error if you do get an error you can just fix it with chat gpt so in this case i just opened up my python script and i hit the keyboard to get a couple of letters to fuck it up a little bit so i can demonstrate this to you but if you do get an error you go up here to this little menu you switch from 3d viewport to info here you got the error you can just click on that control c to copy it you go back to chat gpt and tell him i got this error here in blender you paste the error right there you hit enter and he's going to tell you all about how to fix it now after you got your first draft you're probably going to want to make some changes and improvements for example when i first created this add-on here if i wanted to tell the add-on where he's supposed to draw the objects from to be loaded into the scene i would have to open up the python code i would have to go change the directories and all this shit if I wanted to give this add-on to somebody else, now I would have to give them instructions for how to modify the Python code. So I just told ChatGPT, hey, give me an extra button in this add-on so that you can use that button to choose which directory you want to load the Blender files from. And that way I don't have to go digging around the Python script. I just got this button in my add-on right here. I can click on that. I can choose which directory I want to use as my asset directory. And now any Blend file that I save into that directory, this add-on is going to show me all the objects from that Blender file. And as you can see, I got my items blend file where I got a washing machine, I got a fucking toilet, I got a sink, I got a shower, I got anything you want for a bathroom. And this makes it really useful for me because now if I got an ArcBiz client, I can just sit down with them somewhere. I can make a simple room according to the dimensions they gave me and I can help them visualize how certain objects are going to fit into that scene. So if you want a shower, I'll throw in a shower for you. If you want a sink, I'll throw in a sink for you. I got a washing machine, I got a toilet. Maybe you're making a building and all the toilets look the same. Maybe I'm going to be working with a company that makes 
makes toilets and they want me to help them help their clients visualize what that toilet would look like in the client's room. So I model that toilet once and then I can use it in any Blender file that I ever want to use it in. So this shit is pretty useful for me and I'm going to be making a whole bunch of add-ons like this as well. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments and I can show you how to make some other useful add-ons as well. I want to make a video about creating another add-on which is going to immediately set up a scene for you. So if you have an object, you're going to be able to render that object in a beautiful way just using a fucking button instead of spending an hour setting up the lighting and the environment and all that. So I showed you how to make this Blender add-on. I encourage you guys to go make some add-ons yourself. It's going to be a pretty useful skill for you. If you want to get my add-on, I'm going to put a link for it in the description so you guys can get it for like a buck or something along with these items that I've modeled here. So if you want to visualize a bathroom, you can just use this. That's all I got for you in this video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Like the damn video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.